Hey guys, Jared back once again, and I wanted to do a quick little demonstration video for those of you that haven't already seen um, the new multi-window feature from the latest Android 4.1.2 update from Samsung. Now, if you're living in North America, that being both the US and Canada, chances are you probably don't have this update as of yet, considering you just got a recent 4.1.1 update, but... Um, you guys should be seeing it soon, but for those of us that do have an international i9300 version, this has been pushed out recently. Um, again, more reason for you guys to root if you haven't already. You know, if you if you if you have an, uh, a North American version, you could root it, and you could probably load a custom ROM that has these. Um, abilities or features enabled. So anyways, um, we're here to kind of demonstrate what you can look forward to. So if you are running Android 4.1.2, first thing you're going to want to do is jump into your settings. We're going to go into display and you're going to make sure that multi-window is checked. All right, that's been added now. So great. So what you're going to want to do is press and hold the back button there. Whoops and hold the back button and that'll pop up. Now, generally speaking, if you just flashed a ROM or you just got the update, um, there'll be a little toolbox that pops up to kind of let you know how to use it and so on and so forth. But what's interesting is that you can actually, you these are the only applications that they uh, allow you by default without any modifications um, to use in the multi-window feature. And you'll notice that there'll be a little tab now. It's, it's kind of hard, actually it's impossible looking through the uh, viewfinder here in my little screen here to see the little tab, but it's actually got a little tab um, that's right there for you to click on. You just kind of click on it. It's unobtrusive and out of the way and it displays all of the um, compatible uh, multi-window featured applications that you can use. So let's say for instance I want to toss out some gallery action there and then I wanted to throw in, oh I don't know, the internet down below it. You can do so and both will pop up as you can see. And of course you can, um, the little divider bar in the middle you can drag up and or drag down and depending on the application you're using as you can see um, it's right now the um, browser is the dominant uh, application so what I could do whoops what I could do is you'll notice that we've got these icons if that could get the hell out of there we've got these little icons these two little icons there and I can actually click the one on the left and that'll swap them or I can simply click the full screen button and jump right into that application full screen. So that works out well. Now with that little tab that you saw on the left there, you can actually get rid of that again by long pressing on the back button. That'll disappear. That way if you are using the edges of your display, you don't have to worry about activating it by accident. Now this is where things get interesting because um, of the lovely, lovely development community, and they realize, you know, that kind of sucks that we can only use the predefined applications. Well, let's make a modification so that we can use any application we want. Well, my particular um, ROM that I'm running, which I will be doing a review on in the future, if any of you guys are interested in that, stay tuned for that. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we've got a little application here that seems to be standard for all ROMs that have the multi-window feature, which is called multi-window control. Simply clicking on that will bring you into this. Now, you are going to have root. Yet again, you need root for this um, if you don't are or are not running Android 4.1.2 or you, you're going to need root if you want to add this modification to that particular feature, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but what we will do is, uh, was this enable, disable, predefined applications? This means, uh, yes, okay, so we'll ignore that add application. Now you saw that those are the only applications that we could add. Um, now what we can do is go into this application, select add an application, and these are all going to be, um, it's going to bring up basically all the applications that we have in our app drawer, that being both user downloaded apps as well as system installed apps. So if I wanted to, I could say for instance, add cloud send, go back and I could add the calculator, I could go back, which is obviously a system application, I could go back and add my uh, circle alarm and so on, just as a, a demonstration. Then I go back, kill it because um, it needs to kill the multi-window feature in order to add those um, applications. Go back to my home screen, I'm gonna long press on the back button there, bring that up and you'll notice now, oh, look at that. We now have calculator, circle alarm, and cloud send ended. So if I wanted to, drag and drop uh, the calculator there, and we can drag and drop my circle alarm there. So if I wanted to, for whatever reason, don't have any setup there, that was a bit of a mishap. Um, put cloud send down there, perhaps. And there we go. So now we have two user downloaded applications. Well, we've got one system um, application, I'm sorry, and one user downloaded application, both using the multi-window feature, both resizable, you can swap them, and if you wanted to, 
go ahead and jump into full screen. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully, everybody will be getting this multi-window uh, feature soon on your devices. I know the um, North American versions tend to take a little bit longer for updates than the international versions do, but that's, again, uh, widely based on carriers' compatibility with their software and the networks and so on, even for small updates like that. But that's it for now, guys. Hope you like. Hopefully, you like this video. If you did, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below, and maybe maybe subscribe now with the new YouTube, new YouTube layout, which is also down below if you haven't already. It is free, and we do have videos five days a week. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Google Plus. I'm sorry. And if you actually want to interact with me. Um, you're best to go with Google+. Plus. I don't really respond a whole lot to Twitter and uh, Facebook. That's just kind of so everybody can keep up to date with the latest videos if you don't always have access to YouTube. Again, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.